Okay. <clears throat> Hello, welcome back everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a cheap as heck lens, which is a pinhole lens. Let me go find my frame borders. These are what my frame borders are. Bottom, probably here, yeah. Okay. So, this is how you're gonna make a cheap lens. First, you'll need this, which is essentially my Tamron 18 to 200 mount. You can actually use a body cap, I'm gonna use this thing because I have a mount and for the lens, what you what I'm gonna use today is I'm gonna make a pinhole lens I've made one single optic lens before which I did not upload because obviously the quality was rubbish pinhole lenses, you can probably like forgive that because obviously they're pinholes and so I'm gonna do it right now first you'll need some cardboard, let me go show you this you'll need some cardboard I got this off of like an old mail carton like this, see? So first, see, you, you can actually see this, you can actually see this little kid with his camera, so essentially you can obviously make this lens. <coughs> this is essentially lens promotion stuff. So let me go and take this. You should be able to put this sort of in the middle like this. That might work. How, how far is that? Let's see. I can probably make this work. Let's see, um, five point five. This is this is about one cm. Let's really measure this thing. It's about six millimeters. Okay, so six mil from here. Then this millimeters over here is by here. So then you want to make a line like this. Then you want to trace out the outline of this thing, just like this. Then you want to hold it down, trace it out. Now I got the circle like this. You wanna first cut this thing. Let me go cut this out. Let me go pause the video. Okay, and then so you have this, which is the little circular bit like this. Actually, I didn't put the camera thing in here, but so what that be. So next, you wanna have one of these, which is my mount essentially. I'm not gonna use my Sony as a mount because I have this, which is a a Canon mount. This thing's a Comlite to to E mount adapter which I've taken the electronics out because I do not want to have electronics when I'm using my Zenitar lens so then you want to make sure this thing actually goes on and sticks on there you go it actually sticks on nice take it off then you want to find a way to put this like this good enough I'd say good enough seal then you want to find where where this thing is roughly in the middle luckily my table has some, some like lines so I can use this as like a reference so this thing is about one two wait one two three three things high so I'm gonna make it three things three point something so it's about here center is like here <clears throat> I don't think that is center but it should be move it somewhere like there Next thing I'll do is I'll make a hole in it. Let's see, I think I have a little needle somewhere. I should at least. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go pause the video until I find my needle. Okay, I think I actually lost it, but let me go and use one of these super tiny screwdrivers to like make a small hole. Let's see if this thing really is the center of this thing. It's pretty much the center, I'd say. That looks good enough. Let's make a small hole. Oh, shit. 
Now that's clear enough. Now what you want to do is you want to remove the like three bits on the sides. Then you want to like hold this thing out to the point that nothing actually like becomes dust that will like kill your sensor or something like that or will get stuck in the aperture plates I mean the shutter plates then you have this now next thing you want to do is you want to stick it on here <clears throat> for this thing what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna use some double tape let's see if I actually have double tape on here I have some normal tape but my double tape sort of gone so let me go pause the video again okay I found my double tape now let's go and double tape this thing onto the mount to be honest I think you can actually screw this thing let me go see if I can actually screw this thing on here I think I have the holder bit right here so this is my tool box where I keep all my time run stuff <clears throat> this This might be the part I'm actually looking for, so I think this actually goes on this. And this actually has the it actually has the screw bits. So I can screw this on like this. So all I need to do next is I should like draw the screw holes onto this thing. And then I can just like hold them and screw that this thing onto this thing. So then let me go find my pen so push it on like this there you go next thing you want to do is you want to find the screws you have to use for this thing so let me see let me go find my screws I have to remember where I put my screws let's pause the video kid I okay, found my screws box. Let me go <clears throat> choose the right screws that I need. Let's see which ones I actually need. These are not important. I think there is black big screws like this. Let me go test this out. So take a screwdriver. Screw this into this. This fits, so I'm gonna keep this and find the other three. I actually think you only need like one or two, but I mean more like two, but three. I mean four will be better, yeah. So let's get four if you can. One, two. Let's get number three. <clears throat> number four is proving to be quite elusive. This is number four. Okay, call four. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick all these metal bits back in, then make holes in this thing. So, I'm gonna put a hole in here. Just like this. Put a hole in here. Put a hole in here and then put a hole in here. Then, once you do this, let's go and scrape the axis off. good enough let's use one of these yellow tape thingies to like clean up the sides so 
how you use this is you put this over the hole then you want to like <clears throat> stick this thing through so the hole actually becomes more tidy and, and doesn't like fray that much then you want to like hold this thing out let's use a smaller screwdriver like the Mavic Mini's one I think or use a q-tip I got a broken one right here just like that next hole so for for these pinhole lenses the longer you I mean the further you are from the sensor the tighter the focal length would be so in my case I'm using an EF adapter so my flash distance will be way more than the Sony Sony mount flash distance if you want to have a wider one then just use a Sony body cap and that way you can actually get a very very short flash distance Hold on, you make, and I'm done. Okay, then all you need to do is just get this thing, put this align this with the holes that I've just made. Then put one of these on the screwdriver. Dang it. And screw this thing inside of the cardboard to the other side this side's done then to the other two sides and you should be okay to like screw this thing into the main body <clears throat> okay now you should take this thing out the lock is on the side on the left side of the thing so the left side is right here this is the top I want this to be on the side so this so I think this would be proper yeah so push this thing on, screw this thing in, Let's see ya, why is it not screwing in, missed the thread I think, so Let's push this one in, works screw this thing in and screw <coughs> this thing in okay nice enough screw them all down happen I'm not sure what happened but I think something cracked so I think the size of the cardboard is a bit too thick so this thing actually buckled maybe looks like that's what happened so yeah okay let's back this thing out first and trim the cardboard slightly so you actually have more clearance and the thing doesn't just like buckle and crack like this <clears throat> so taking these screws out push this thing off
this is like becoming one of my fastest lens building videos I think because of the fact that this thing is so simple so this out this out okay all four screws are out now you want to cut the excess which is this thing Theory now I should have little to none problem with this thing because I've cut this thing a lot. I should have some cleanness issue on this side. should be okay with one more cut to make sure and this thing should be very very much okay so <clears throat> lacking some cleaners on this side there you go now I can guarantee that this thing fits properly <clears throat> Then you can like screw this thing in. Right just now again. And hopefully by this time you have you've actually gotten this thing to work properly. And not like clip the sides of the plastic. This thing. And the last screw. Oh, where the heck did that thing go? The last screw goes. Here. Okay. Then you want to screw this thing in. Orientation. This and this. You know, screw this thing in. Then screw this. This and then this. Now this thing fits snugly in. Okay. <clears throat> And here you have a lens, which looks like this. It's not the best looking, but it should work. So now all you need to do is just put this thing in here and click it all in. And let me take my body for a while. <coughs> Let me take my Jupiter 3 off, change it with this combo adapter. And let's see what we have. So this I can see through and it looks pretty cool. So thank you for watching everyone and goodbye.